back. Europe is, of course, known for housing some of the world's most beautiful places of worship, but we also have some of those right here in New York City. The New York Landmarks Conservancy is celebrating the city's diverse houses of worship with their annual Sacred Sites Open House Weekend. Here for more is the Landmark Conservancy President, Peg Breen. And Peg, hello. You all are 50 years old this year, right? The Landmarks Law is 50 years landmarks old. Law is the, 50. Cons the Conservancy is, came along seven years later, so we're a little, little younger than that. But we've been giving out um, grants and technical help to landmark religious institutions all over the state for 30 years now. And about five years ago, we, we tried to encourage people to be tourists in their own town. Yes. You know, get out the door, see what a remarkable city this is. And we have the greatest collection of religious architecture in the world. And nobody thinks to go in these buildings most of the time unless you're a congregant. And they're fabulous, full of beautiful architecture and art and history and social programs and cultural events. And they're just fascinating to see and to learn about. So I want you to talk to uh, us about some of the ones we're going to be taking a look at, like the Grace Church, which is in Brooklyn Heights, right? Grace Church is a fabulous Richard Upjohn Church. He was a very incredible Gothic architect in the mid-1800s. And they've just done an incredible restoration. And the interior of this church has been brought back to all the original oh, wow. decoration. You know, it's, it's just fabulous. And it's breathtaking to go in and see that. Now tell me about the Flushing Meeting House. This is, to me, the most remarkable building in the city. It was built in 1697. It is the oldest building in the, in the city, certainly, with continuous worship. They put on their modern edition in 1716, <laughs> and they still worship there. And it's, it's surrounded by multicultural bus, bustling Flushing, and yet this remarkable wooden building is still standing. And it shows medieval building techniques. That's how old this building is. Now, this one I've heard of, Temple Emmanuel. Temple Emmanuel is the largest synagogue in the world. Oh, good grief. It's it so is gorgeous. an incredible Art Deco masterpiece from the late 1920s. And it's just a stunning interior. It's, it's breathtaking to go in there and see the scope of this and the beauty of the architecture. And they're wonderful about giving tours, and they love to show this building off. And they'll be open this weekend. And it's really, if you were in Europe, you would go hundreds of miles out of your way to see this building. Just go to Fifth Avenue. Right. Mm -hmm. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> St. Patrick's. Patrick's. Everybody knows St. Patrick's, but I will bet you almost, almost no New Yorkers go there unless they are specific congregants because it's just there. Mm -hmm. You know, how many people go to the Statue of Liberty or Ellis Island after you lived here for a while? St. Patrick's is a fabulous cathedral by James Renwick. They're doing a gazillion dollar restoration yeah. on it, both inside and out. And it's a beautiful, beautiful church. And this is your opportunity to go in and have a tour and see what it's all about. And then you can, then the next time your relatives are visiting from somewhere, you can really give them a show. Give us the dates again. May 16th and 17th. Sacred Sites Tour. We'll, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you there too. You probably will. <laughs>